All right, welcome back, guys. Welcome to the second episode of this mini course series on Chakra UI. Now, in this small episode, now in this short episode, I would like to make a demo just to show you what the developer experience using Chakra UI is like. So the first thing we need to do is to actually get started with Chakra UI. To here, here I am on the getting started page of Chakra UI website, and I need to install Chakra UI core and install its dependencies as well. So I'm gonna copy this. I'm gonna paste it in my terminal. I have already done that. You should go ahead and um, install all these uh, packages, which include Chakra UI core and Emotion core. So it's based on Emotion, Emotion styled, and also Emotion theming. Now, if you're following up with my GitHub repo and you picked up uh, on the commit that start of episode two, which is where I am right now, you don't really need to do to install these things. Um, but if you're not following with my GitHub repo and you're doing your own thing, then you have to do that. And you can get the link to the GitHub repo access on the description. All right, so with that out of the way, let's get started. So right here, I have a very, very simple Next.js setup and all these pages are now empty, which are, we are gonna fill together. Uh, but I'm just gonna give you the demo here in the home page. So the first thing you need to do is actually wrap everything that you write in uh, theme provider and color mode provider. And you only need the color mode provider if you're doing uh, dark mode. Now, just to show you what I mean is that I'm gonna import theme provider here and this is not the correct package. This will actually come from uh, Chakra UI core. Chakra UI core, correct? And I am using uh, Next, so I already have everything in the app um, wrapped up in theme provider and color mode provider already. And also I've added the CSS reset, which um, the guys at Chakra UI also suggest that you do. So if you have a similar setup, you don't have to do this, but if you're working in like create react app or something, then you have to wrap everything in theme provider and color mode provider. So this is just to show you what I mean, but then um, to show you the demo that I want to make is I'm just going to make a box. So I'm going to uh, automatically, hopefully, nope, let's go back again. And I'm going to automatically, yep, import that box uh, from the Chakra UI core. And just to show you the developer experience, I want to tell you that uh, Chakra UI is heavily based on style props. So most of the CSS, actually, if not all of the CSS that you want to write is already exposed as strongly typed props. So I could do things like this with equal 200 pixels. I could do things like this height equal 15 uh, view height. And I could also do the background to be equal a certain value in which I can reference my theme. Now Chakra UI already ships with a standard theme that is inspired by Tailwind CSS. And that is very handy because I could do a gray 200 or pink 200 or whatever. And if I save this the render for a bit and you can see I, I have my div right there. But things don't really stop right there because there's so many other things that you can do. So you can have box shadow and again, it's strongly typed. So if I write medium, then you get uh, medium box shadows and again these values are referenced from the theme that you have already comes as a standard with Chakra UI and of course you can change that theme you can make your custom theme you can add your custom colors and you can do so many things the same thing here I can um, I can control the border radius with this prop called rounded and I can make it small so it's just a little bit of border radius that's so tiny actually I have to zoom in for you guys to see it and there's more, there's large, which is quite more pronounced and so on. And um, so yeah, this is this is just how easy it is to uh, construct stuff in Chakra UI. Everything is exposed and everything is strongly typed. So it's really much easier. Another thing also I wanna show you before we move in, another thing also that I wanna show you before we move on to actually start creating the form and the card is that right now I have um, this color mode enabled and now the color of my div and the properties of the div don't really change based on the color mode. So the background here is gray 200 and it stays as gray 200 uh, in dark mode as well. But let's just say, for example, I wanna change that and that will be very simple. All I need to do is import a hook here called use color mode from Chakra UI. And then I'm gonna destructure the output of that hook uh, so here I'm going to take an object that has a uh, color mode property and that will be the result that's coming from use color mode hook. And the value of that color mode, based on that value, I want to change the value of the background. So what I will do here, I will say uh, 
if color mode equals and you can see here directly I'm propped with the available uh, values for color mode it's either dark or light so when it's light what I want to do is I want the background to be uh, gray dot a little bit darker gray dot 500 and when it's not light as in when it's dark I want it to be a little bit brighter so gray dot 200 so if I save this I'm here propped with uh, the slightly darker color of gray which is in uh, light mode and if I switch to dark mode you can see things are changing based on this that we have written here and you can do this with everything you can do this with box shadow with the rounded prop we can do this with everything and yeah I just wanted to make this very quick video to show you what the developer experience is like you can see they were doing quite complicated stuff which involves a lot of switching between color mode and um, uh, light and dark mode and so on but Chakra AI makes um, makes dealing with all these things very easy using the abstractions that they have made uh, so that's it for the demo in the next video we will start actually making the form if you are following with me over uh, the git repo so I will leave um, um, I will leave a commit from the start of the next episode so you can pick up from there I'll see you guys in the next one